Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brian from Khox Nation, and today we are back with another Pokemon Masters episode. Uh, this time featuring the newest unit, Grimsley and Leopard. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, what? Honestly, this is actually a pretty good unit, okay? And just like normal, we're gonna go over it, give my thoughts about it. Um, I currently have almost like all of the Pokemon in the game. Um, I spent like no money on this game. Uh, I just happened to get them by luck. And surprisingly, at least for me, from my experience so far, like because of how small the pool, the actual unit pool is that you can pull from, uh, from the banners themselves, it's actually a lot easier than I would think to actually get a like most of the Pokemon. So, without further ado, we'll go into this. You might notice a little bar at the bottom, which is somewhat new if you only watch the Pokemon Masters content I make. Uh, that's just something I'm testing out and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the units. So we're gonna start off with the act the animation itself. This is the sync move animation. It's, it's kind of standard. Oh, I just realized it. <laughs> it's cut off. I don't know why it's cut off like that. Okay, well at least you, ca you kind of saw it. Not what I expected though. I don't know why it popped it showed up like that on the screen. So anyways, we'll just go right into the moves. Alright, we'll go to max level. In case you are not aware, the game recently had a major update that increased the level cap for how high your Pokemon levels can actually go up to. Okay, as well as they also introduced a new type of uh level item that you need in order to achieve the max level as well uh, on top of also introducing a new difficulty uh, level for all of the training quests too okay so these numbers are going to be at the 120 level uh, even then it still gives us a good insight as to how well this pokemon is actually going to be um, so starting off <coughs> we have leopard who is a What's it called? I think it's Life called Intellect. Intellect, uh, Pokemon base. Yeah, I think it, I think that's what it's called. I forgot the name. Don't you don't get to use them too often. There, she is weak to Bug though. Okay, HP at 472, attack at 222, defense at 182. And remember, these are all at the max level settings. Okay, special attack at 132, special defense at 182, and speed at 408. She has four moves, first one being Night Slash, is a physical move, power 48, accuracy 100, only targets one opponent, and it does critical hits more easily, as well as also consumes two gauges, right? Second ability, Snatch, consumes two gauges, is a dark type, okay? Uh, does not have a category, because it affects, it's one of those like status moves, uh, affects one opponent, or doesn't do any damage, it's, it's, I should say. Uh, targets one opponent, returns the target's raised stats to normal, and raises the user's stats by that amount. So essentially, you completely negate and cancel out any buffs that the opponent might have, and you give it to yourself instead. Which is actually a pretty huge mechanic. There's no other Pokemon in the game that currently does it at the moment, and that's, that's really good. I'll go more into that later. Next up, third ability is All or Nothing. This is a trainer move. You can use it twice, only affects Leopard herself, uh, sharply raises the user's critical hit rate, drastically raises the user's evasiveness, and drastically lowers the user's defense. So basically, your critical hit rate and your evasiveness go up while your defense goes down. Fourth ability, Dark Pulse, consumes three gauges, is a dark type special attack, has a power of 114 with an accuracy of 100, only targets one opponent and has a small chance of making the target flinch. The sync move is called Card Shark Night Slash. It is a dark type physical move with a power of 240, hits only one opponent. The power of this move is increased if none of the opponent's stats are raised. Last but not least is the passive skill, which is life, prevents the Pokemon from getting paralyzed. Okay, so. 
in terms of whether or not how good is Leopard herself, and I will be making some uh, videos sometime fairly soon going over the actual meta that's currently in the game in terms of the actual Pokemon, which Pokemon are actually currently the strongest and best used for certain types of different situations. I'm gonna be making some videos in regards to that just because I know a lot of people are struggling apparently in some, at least to me, what considers to be basic content. Right now, the EX battles in the co-op mode are kind of the end game content at the moment, um, or, or at least as far as I'm aware, the most difficult content. That's where I'm at, essentially. Um, I'm just trying to grind the training range to kind of get all my Pokemon where I want to, so that way I can continue grinding the EX stages. But uh, yeah, I'll get those videos out soon. So in terms of whether or not how good Leopard is and where she fits into the mix of things though, I will say that overall she's a pretty good Pokemon, okay? Obviously she's entirely a dark Pokemon, okay? And there's only a handful, I think there's only like one or two, no, I think there's only one uh, actual no, yeah, there's only like a there's only like two five star Pokemon that can actually use dark moves. There is the Houndoom, uh, as well as the uh, Stoutland. Although Stoutland only has one dark move, so I'm not sure if he really counts. But we pretty much have Houndoom. Okay, Houndoom is a really good DPS Pokemon or damage Pokemon, but the main attraction for Leopard here is primarily for his Snatch. Uh, or her snatch because of the fact that a lot of enemies especially in the higher tiers whenever the enemy gets a buff it is it can be absolutely devastating to your team and your teammates as well so if you're able to completely negate and mute out any of the opponent's buffs that is huge value okay the fact you can actually give to yourself too that's just icing on the cake um even if we didn't have that portion of the ability, just negating the opponent's buffs is already massive. Uh, and that is the most notable because of the fact that you'll tend to see that happen the most when the enemy uses their sync move uh, ability. Um, typically against the harder, higher end, harder content stuff, when the enemy uses their sync move ability, your team typically ends up getting like not max debuffed, but like heavily debuffed, and the enemy might get some buffs, okay? So, an enemy is still able to use their normal trainer abilities and such too, to give themselves buffs too. So, uh, which they typically will tend to do before they actually use their sync move. So if you can actually use Snatch before their sync move and possibly after their sync move, depending on the effects of the sync move, you can have absolutely huge value, and I have no doubt in my mind that I could easily see Leopard as being one of the uh, staple uh, intellect Pokemon that you might need to bring on your teams every once in a while, okay, in order to deal with uh, very challenging uh, opponents, okay? I have no doubt in my mind. There's a cup, there's, because as of right now, there's really only like a select handful of Pokemon in the game that you can use to actually effectively uh, debuff the enemy. Um, which is a sh like a, a shame to be honest because there's not a <laughs> like we just need more Pokemon that can actually buff or that can actually debuff the opponent. We have tons of Pokemon that can buff ourselves and our teammates but not enough to debuff the opponent. Uh, most notably for the attack stat and I believe the uh, yeah the attack stat special attack stat um, there's some that kind of do defense um, but yeah, mostly the attacks and special attack stats, okay? Anyways, that's the main here, but it's also kind of icing in the cake too, that I don't know if you've noticed, but if you actually use Snatch before your sync move, because the fact that Snatch completely wipes the slate clean, so they essentially will have no buffs at all whatsoever, the sync move here says that the power of this move is increased if none of the opponent's stats are raised. The sync move itself already has a power of 240, which is a pretty massive amount. If it does more damage because you use Snatch before you use your sync move, that's 
that's pretty good, especially for an intellect Pokemon. That's actually a pretty good combo, and it's self-reliant too. You don't need to have a different Pokemon on your team to actually do that. So, overall, already on a really great start. I already see her being used mainly for the Snatch ability. Everything else is kind of like, okay. Okay. Um, the Dark Pulse is also a pretty damaging move too, although... Uh, especially considering the fact that it has 100 accuracy rather than like 90 or 80, which is what you would consider to see other like hard hitting uh, moves like that at, like Avalanche um, or Hurricane and stuff, like with uh, Blue's P Pidgeot. What does this do again? Oh, yeah. So, you know, by the way, if any of you are wondering, even though that you might lose some defense with the all or nothing, depending on the type of opponent that you're playing against, or fighting against that could actually not really matter at all to be honest um and that is specifically if you happen to be fighting against an opponent that relies solely on special attacks so if the opponent uses mainly special attacks you don't have to worry about the fact that you're lowering your defense because the special attack is a it's going to be uh, affecting your special defense it's not actually your defense stat is not actually going to matter. It's going to be entirely reliant on your special defense. So, I'm just throwing that out there for anybody who's not familiar with that. Um, in which case, our special defense is actually pretty good. It's Or, not should I say pretty good. It's actually at a fairly decent level. Um, even though it's at 120, I'm expecting at even level 100. It might be at like 150, 160-ish for the special defense stat. And then maybe around 80 or 85 it'll probably be around like 130 or something like that that's that's what i'm expecting which is still a pretty average level so the passive ability is honestly that's just kind of like eh okay sure why not um but it's nothing you can actually like really use or abuse or anything like that but overall i feel like leopard is a fantastic pokemon definitely one that i would want to have at least on my roster uh, just in case for any particular type of challenging events. Um, do I think he's a must-have? Kind of. He's, 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 I definitely see, at least as of right now, in the current state of the game, he's one of those Pokemon where you could probably get away without using him. Um, but I can definitely foresee in the future, as they add more challenging content, he's definitely going to be a Pokemon where you probably going to need to use them as a must-have for sure okay so that's kind of like where i'm at with the up part she is not quite a must-have at the moment just because of the content in the game but i definitely see the potential to become a must-have depending on what comes out so overall really good pokemon the stats are kind of okay they're not you know anything outrageous which is to be expected she's not a support pokemon so she wouldn't have I'm not expecting crazy defense on top of the fact that she's not a damage Pokemon either, a might Pokemon. So I'm not expecting outrageous uh, attack or special attack stats either. So yeah, that's basically it. In terms of whether or not I pull, it's just it's just whether or not you really need to just get more Pokemon, to be honest. Um, right now, even though they've been increasing the number of opportunities and ways to actually get gems in the game, Big thank you, by the way, <laughs> for them to actually be doing that. That was pretty pr pretty much the only major gripe I had with the game was that was near when the game first came out was that was nearly impossible to actually get gems, uh, which kind of made me just not even want to play because like why play if I can't even get gems and at least get a free pull every once in a while that that type of thing. So they've definitely helped that out uh, majorly. So <clears throat> if in terms of whether or not I pull, I would say don't even like. Don't even worry about chasing for any particular Pokemon as of right now. I would say if you're able to pull, pull just for the sake of trying to obtain any new Pokemon, period. Okay, that's kind of where, that's even where I'm at at the moment. I'm just trying to get any new Pokemon, period. Uh, and I, I think I only need like five Pokemon left at this point. <clears throat> I will mention though, that because of the fact that there is a legendary uh, event happening at this point in time. Let me actually go back real quick. There was a notice about it too. They didn't actually mention it in the message. Where is it? The legendary rally? Okay. They didn't actually mention it in this, but I am expecting, it's kind of obvious that Mewtwo is going to be coming into the game sometime fairly soon. It's looking like that maybe in about two weeks or so, you might expect Mewtwo to come into the game. So if you really want 
uh, to try and get Mewtwo. Maybe hold off on making any pulls for the next few weeks. Uh, wait for Mewtwo to come out and then do some pulls and hopefully you might get lucky and actually get Mewtwo. But other than that, that was it for today, guys. Go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. Again, I will be making some content later in the future, hopefully sometime soon, actually going over some of the uh, meta Pokemon in the game, some advice in terms of different stages and whatnot, different strategies and all that good stuff, uh, the best type of Pokemon for different types of scenarios, such as like who's the strongest damage Pokemon, who's the best support Pokemon, the best intellect Pokemon type of thing, um, those type of videos. So other than that, if you enjoyed the video, Please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when to upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from KHOX Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.